Okay, today we have a nice uh, little kind of a universal uh, tool room or uh, hobbyist type cyl uh, cylindrical grinder. This is a Covell and um, it, could be run, it could be run hydraulically or manually. Uh, it has a swing down ID attachment which you see here right now uh, with variable speed and a little chuck on here that holds quarter inch tooling, uh, whether a stone or diamond. Uh, the spindle is set up with a uh, 5C collet, uh, so you could uh, use tooling that has a 5C collet uh, shank to it, or 5C collets uh, themselves. Um, machine is basically be able to use by hand, like I'm doing here right now, with your infeed. Uh, you could go either direction uh, for the internal grinding. You might want to go to the rear, or if you wanted to come to the front, uh, you could. You have a manual little pulse thing, which when you push that down, that will bring the wheel in uh, small increments at a time. You have a, a dead stop here so that once you get uh, up to close to your zero, you could stick this in and so you can only go to the zero stop. Um, spindle here is a precise spindle and you control it from up here. So, you know, an operator can sit here and just, you know, do small parts, whatever. Um, it's pretty neat. So, also, you know, this doesn't have to be used. It could be swung back out of the way. And now you have an external grinding wheel that you can Again, manually do small little jobs in your shop, you know, where you don't want to use another machine or a bigger, more, you know, important machine in your shop. Uh, you could do a lot of little things on this. You could put a center in here. You could put a point on something. You could, you could turn this to 30 degrees and sharpen centers. Uh, we have a tail stock that goes here. It goes up here. You could do regular cylindrical grinding between uh, you can get a 5C collet that has a center nose on it or hold the center in a 5C collet. So you got a lot of options. Also, it uh, has an automatic table and you got to start the table. That starts a hydraulic pump. Up until this point, we haven't had a hydraulic pump on. And to get this table moving, it's kind of funny. You got to pull the hand wheel out because it's a safety. And then you got to press one of these switches. And this here is a timer. This, this is going to count down to zero. The light's going to come on. It's going to go down to zero. And then when, once that happens, the table's going to start to move. And I haven't found another way to make this work. Uh, I'll show you that once again. You go from the hydraulics being off or the hand wheel being in. You can't start the hydraulics with the hand wheel in. So start the table. This is your little dwell. When I press the switch down and I let go, this timer activates every time. That's your, that's your, that's your tarry or your dwell. And I can increase this. Or I can put it only on one side. And not the other. These are all for for grinding. The work head is variable, and it also rotates. So that's pretty much it. This is currently wired for 220 volts. Uh, it's a pretty versatile tool would be nice to have, you know, just to do other little, little operations on. I uh, hope you liked the video. Thank you very much.